Marian, can you read the problem? Okay, so we are required to solve for how many are there in a graduating class. So given the following results of the survey. So this is just a, a basic survey involving three subjects. So which three subjects those graduating DET students, they like best. So I believe this is not our school because as of now, our graduating DET students is zero. In third year, there are no graduates for that okay so we are trying to solve for the uh, number the total number of graduating students so in this problem we, we will attack this problem by using venn diagram okay venn diagram so why are you so silent okay venn diagram so the first thing to do is to determine how many events are there so how many Events. So, we, so when you say events, how many options or how many selection are there for the survey? So there are how many? Three. three. So three. So we have calculus, circuits, and English. So each event shall have its own circle. So we will have circle. Okay. So where is insert here? A draw, 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 draw. Okay, circle. Assuming that we can draw a very nice circle. So then, this is for event A. So another circle. Let's try another color. Color pink. And how about this one? So we have another circle. So this is for another event. Then we have another color again. What color? Pink? Okay. <laughs> Yellow, so that it would be good for the eyes. And we have now the symbol of the Olympics. Okay. So we will write the options or the events. No? So this green, let's just say that this is for your favorite subject calculus so you are very good in calculus this purple will be your major su subject circuits uh, the shortcut for circuits is CQT then the yellow will be your subject that you got a high grade which is 1.0 English because you are very good in English right okay so, when, when, you, when you now have the Venn diagram, let's try to zoom this one. Where is the zoom? Okay, so let's make it bigger. So, you have now the Venn diagram. So, the first thing to do is to put the values in every area or in every region, just like what we have in our last discussion. So, now, every, every region must have its own value from this one, from the given. So, the very first thing to do is to get the region in the center. So, the region in the center, it means that the, there, are, there are students here who like both calculus, circuit, and English, meaning the region in the center those students like all of the three subjects so how many students like all of the three subjects how many so from the given we have 10 so 10 okay so the next is we will consider the students who like calculus and circuit so how many students like calculus and circuit 32 
32. So, we have 32 here, but sa 32, in the 32, there are already 10 of that who likes all of the 3. So, that is 32 minus 10. So, how many will be put in this region? Oh, only 22. Okay. Now, we consider the students who like circuits and English. So, we have 25. So, 25, we have already 10 here. So, that is 25 minus 10. We will have 15. Okay. Now, we have calculus and English. So, how many students like calculus and English? We have 28. So, minus 10. So, we have 18. So, that is the reason we must get first the uh, number of students who like all of the three subjects. Okay, now, how many students who likes calculus? 50. 55. 55. Okay, so there are 55 students who like what? Where? Ah, uh, this is circuits. I believe we have the wrong... So this is circuits. We have the wrong given. This is circuits. Okay. So we have 55 students who likes um, calculus. So out of the 55, there are already 22, 10, and 18. This one. This is already included on the students who like calculus. So we have 22, 10, and 18. So we will add that one. So 22 plus 10 plus 18. So that is equal to 50. So then this one, we will deduct this to the number which is given for the students who like calculus. So we have 55 minus 50. That will be 5. So we will do the interpretation letter of uh, this one, no? Then we have people who like circuits, so the, those, that, is, that will be 50. 50. So we have 22 plus 10 plus 15. So you have 47. So 47 minus 50, so 3. So in this region, there is only 3 students. Okay. Then we have English. English is 51. Then we have 18. 18 plus 10 plus 15. So we have 43. So 43 minus 51. So that, that will be 8. So you have now the complete uh, re representation of the survey from uh, of your the equivalent Venn diagram. Okay, so the question is how many students or how many were there in a graduating class? <coughs> so this will be just very easy. You just get the total of this one. So for example, we will be let our x is equal to the total number of graduating class. So we'll just get the sum of all the values present in the Venn diagram. So we have 5 plus 18 plus 22 plus 10 plus 22. Okay, 22 plus 10 plus 15 plus 3 plus 8. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay, so we will get the total of that one. So we have 5 plus 18 plus 22 plus 10 plus 15 plus 3 plus 8. Okay, so there are, there are 81 students in the graduating class. Okay. So this will be our answer. But we will just also explore the Venn diagram. No? We, will ex we will explain further the Venn diagram even though we have already solved the problem. So 
in this region here, this 5, this 5 represents that there are only 5 students who like calculus alone. So, only 5 students who like calculus and they, and they don't like the other 2 subjects. Oh. Then, this number here, 22, this, uh, that number represents the number of students who like calculus and circuit but not English. Mm. So, he liked these two subjects but not English. So maybe these 22 person or students are good in math but uh, not good in English. Then we have also 8 here. So, this 8 represents the number of students who like English alone. So, they don't like math. <laughs> calculus and circuit. So, this 10, the one at the center, it represents the number of students who like all of the three subjects. Maybe they are very good in their uh, studies because they like math and English. Because circuits is just also the application of mathematics. So, all in all, the sum of the values here is equal to 81. So, there will be 81 graduating uh, students in the graduating class of DET.